Frizz, we are back at the bins. But this is not going to be like the other videos where we do voiceovers the whole time. No, we're actually shopping. With, and you're shopping with us. Yeah, this is great. Alright, so I immediately, with my Hawkeyes, go Aww. to this bin because I see a Louis Vuitton bag coming up. And in my head, I know it's fake. In my heart, I want it to be real. But it is totally fake. <laughs> So I'm going through the old bins and I find this like high heel platform Converse. Um, it's pretty dirty, but comps are pretty solid on these, like 80-ish. So we're going to see if we can find the other one. I'm always a sucker for going through the VHSs and the DVDs and things like that. Very rarely do I find anything, but always worth a peek. I'm gonna try these. I typically don't pick up a lot of Tommy Bahama, but I no. Google searched the Coastal Cord. It's like a corduroy plaid, oh. and they go for like thirty dollars. Nice. And I found two of them. Well, uh, are they so, the same size? Uh, extra large and extra large. Yeah, it was in the same bin. Nice. Because I also with this, I have these which I haven't comped yet, but they feel this whole bin was full of Tommy Bahama. I admire Tommy Bahama. At the... Oh. But these are the same they're oh this is relaxed by tommy bahama and it's like a shacket oh it's really nice shackets are awesome they're re it's really nice so i figured that might be a look it's definitely worth a look up and then with this tommy bahama like a a very heavy knit button down jacket i was gonna say that gives shacket vibes yeah, also a shacket. so i'll look those up but i feel like those are nice for the older i get the more i love oh, and shackets. Then another one. i told you this whole bin was full of tommy bahama yeah are they all so extra large they're really nice yeah no this is a large large yeah and then what else did i get is that it i like that we're dripping sweat from heat talking about all of our boots and <laughs> jackets oh, did you show this one already no the 511 tactical. 511 tactical so we've had luck with 511 tactical but only in the larger sizes so this those size being 40. a 40 are definitely a larger size um cargo pants but i feel like they At go the for bins, like 20 25, 25 bucks yeah i think is that it what is oh i got this too well <laughs> I would have to comp this, but it was so nice. It was in the same bin with all the uh, Peter Millar, or I mean the... Oh, the Tommy Bahama? This is Peter Millar. Okay. But this is so nice. It's like a quilted it's bomber? It's wool. Merino wool in the back, and then a quilted front. Really I dig nice. it. nice. So, sharp. look that up. But yeah, that's it. All right. So Halfway point. <laughs> so, an update on the Converse. We have not found it, but... What I am finding out is that today apparently is a day of just once. A lot of people complaining that they are only finding one shoe. And our Goodwill bins, they're not usually rubber band together like this. If they were, it would be great because you could just grab them. But a lot of times you have one and then you hope that you can find the other one. So. Not good so far, but we are holding on to that Converse to see if we can find it. One thing about the Goodwill outlet or the clearance center or bargain barn or outlet world, whatever they call it in your area, we all call it the bins. And if you've ever been to the bins before, you know that the shoe section can be wild. These are where the elbows go flying. This is where chaos truly ensues and sometimes in that rush you can forget to check for quality so once you get all your stuff go back and go through them because some of these you may end up throwing back even though it is hard to do and one other pro tip at the bins regardless if things have been picked over go through it again because look at this guy just sitting right here no i did not place that there for the video it was legit just sitting there. Somebody threw it back. It's a starter hat, Carolina Panthers, probably 40 bucks. But if you know, you know, you would have picked it up. So just even though you see a lot of people going through things, go through it again because you never know. Not everybody knows every brand. Not everybody is looking for everything or the same thing as you are. We all the time will go through picked over bins and be amazed by what we find. So pro tip, always look 
even if someone else has already been there. So I am happiest at the bins when I have a crossbody bag and find starter. Frizz, so I was saying that this was a day for just one shoe. Yeah. And I even found a shoe that you found yesterday. Yes, you that did. That still did not have. Oh no, this one's coming apart. I'm not gonna get it. What is it though? It's a hobo bag. Oh, you love hobo bags. They sell super fast, like really, really fast yeah. all the time, but it's coming apart. Is it worth it no. without the strip? No. 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 I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say pass. Although, maybe. Mm. Guys, what would you do? <laughs> I don't know. Mm. That's pretty bad. Yeah, but can't someone pass. replace the strap? I no, guess they. you can't take the strap off. Well, I guess you could cut it off cut and it. replace a different one. I don't want to mess with it. No. No. Do you want this or no? No, we'll give up. <laughs> Should we hold it just in case? I know, because I have this too. Look at this. Oh, that's brand new. brand new. Is it real? It's a vegan, vegan one. I like that anytime something doesn't feel as good, yeah, you're it's just like, it's vegan. vegan. <laughs> it's not even tell the real leather. All right, we'll hold it. Maybe one more rotation. Somebody has this. Urgh. Somebody has it. Who here. are you? Who is it? Who has <laughs> it? Oh, this is. A little free people? Free people, but I was like, oh, this is very like cottage core esque. Ooh. Very boho, floral. Very graduation. Prairie. Graduation? Yeah, tassels. Oh, don't listen to him. <laughs> Do not use graduation. Hashtag tassels. In your keywords. Keyword tassels. <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't know I need to comp this. Oh, life is but good. It's a life is good backpack. Oh, that's cute. It's I cat. I need to comp it. And there's jewelry in here I put. Yay, life is good. <laughs> but I don't know. I gotta search this. No. Oh. I don't think this is anything. It's not Pandora. No. I think these are all not anything. What does six mean? One more than five. Cheap. Okay, I'm not doing that. What You're not in the mood, are you? Not for jewelry. <laughs> what about this? So oh, I've seen those okay, before. Okay, so it does say stainless steel and it does say Japan made. Oh, just hold it. I mean, what is I'll, it? I'll research it. TBD, it, guys. It has a number on it. 8675309? Okay, so I got I got to comp both of these. She's back. Do you want any of that jewelry you threw away? No. Oh, here, you want to show yours? Okay, I really have to think about this. These are hawks. But sold comps are like 55 bucks and they're pretty They'd probably clean. Be like $6. They're pretty clean. Will you list these? I would list them, yeah. All right, then we'll keep them. Because I list everything. <laughs> these are Echoes, Ecos. I'm, I'm going to look Echo. these up. Echo, Eco. But the golf shoes with like the, lac, the yak leather do really well. So mm -hmm. I'm going to look these up and see. So mm. stay tuned. Friz, I don't even know what these are. Oh yeah, we, you know we what need these, to Google image this. You know what these reminded me of? What? The Chloe boots we found in Seattle. Oh yeah. They yeah. gave me they gave me Chloe vibes. Mm -hmm. These are not. But not this shoe, but at one point somebody wanted $150 oh, for. On clearance 150. On clearance 150. Okay, yeah, they definitely made are in worth Portugal. A look up. I so, can't read the writing though on it. Yeah, you said Selenoni. But to me, I kept seeing jelly, so I don't know. Selly jelly? I don't know. Yeah, it's right here. Samsonite. I was way off. So I have those. What else do I have, Fred? This is you. Oh. <laughs> I also have these Danner boots, but... It's going to be an expensive bench. All trip. right, they're back. <laughs> Is that all me in there? Yep. <laughs> Yo, it's all you, baby. Let me see. I did find... What's in your bag of treasures, Mary What's Poppins? What's in your bag? Look at this. Look at this starter. Look how Ooh, clean nice. it is. nice. That is crispy. Nice. I don't know. We'll is it see. vintage? Yeah. And then we talked in our last video about minor league stuff. Mm -hmm. So the New Hampshire Fisher Cats, it's a size large. Oh, I like that name, Fisher Cats. Fisher Cats. 
So that's all I've done today. Okay. <laughs> Chris and I came back to film, and look at this. Chris, we just talked about this. You know what this is? What? It's an SGA. Oh. And what does that mean again? A solid ground accountant. It's a stadium giveaway. Oh, a stadium giveaway. A stadium yes. giveaway. This is definitely 90s. <laughs> so excited. Okay, so that round of shoes was chaotic. They don't, I mean, they don't uh, usually, they bring the bins out and you have to wait until all the bins, all, all the new bins come out before you start looking. But they did not do today. that. They haven't done it at all today. So it is pure chaos when each bin comes out separately. It's like mayhem. So I'm like, that was a lot. That was yeah, a, I'm that sweating was a lot. over here. That was a lot. This is a very high stressful day. <laughs> yeah. So Everyone always comments on your videos and they're like, your bins are so quiet. No, oh, have they been here today? No, it's just we show the quiet part. <laughs> yeah, like we, we, we hide. We go into a hiding corner. <laughs> Um, but anyways, this is a coach bag. I just sold the same exact one in red on Depop for $35. So excited to find this in navy blue. What do you use to clean? Like, we have yeah, leather conditioning just, wipes. Yeah. yeah you don't use like the Doc Martin stuff, no, right? No, no, no. Never on coach bags. No. Oh, God, please, no! No! No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, okay, so then this was another very exciting find. This is what? a very expensive Bolo brand alert. It's Stubbs and Wooten. Um, they're known for this kind of like knit uh, on their shoes. And You know what some, kind of vibes it's giving me? What? Smathers and expensive. Branson. Oh, yeah. Yeah, expensive. Expensive. <laughs> uh, so we have some loafers animal print and then some slides some flowers um but yeah i can just dust these off in 100 bucks maybe were you 75? aware of this brand or yeah, did it just I look snazzy I've, I've never found it though cross it off the list yes. for us <laughs> yes. guys i don't know if you remember the infomercial now available for the first time ever on home video, the best of the Dean Martin Celebrity Roast. What a night! Who are we honoring? Jokes, jabs, insults, and put-downs. That's what made these roasts hilarious and makes this tape a must-have for your video library. Johnny Carson is a comedian who is seen every night in millions of bedrooms all over America. And that's why his last wife left him. <laughs> this tape features over 50 stars and over... There, I'm pretty sure, Frizz, there was an infomercial for these. The Dean Martin Celebrity Roast. This one's George Burns and Jack Benny. Michael Landon, Jackie Gleason, Muhammad Ali, I don't Jimmy remember Stewart. Any of this. These, well, you wouldn't have. These were before our time, oh, okay. but there were infomercials for About these. It? Yes. <laughs> they used to sell these like call 1 800 77, you know, whatever. The Dean Martin yes. Celebrity Roast. <laughs> That's Is this like, where roasting comes from? Yes. Oh. They've been doing roasts forever. I didn't know that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Cause you did give away some Tory Burch sandals. Very, very big I, of you. I know. I'm very nice. big of I'm you. I'm nice. <laughs> did it hurt to give away? No, because they were they were in the greatest condition. <laughs> so. Got it. <he. laughs> it was fine. Okay. Comps on these Jeffrey sandals. I don't Jeffrey know. Campbell's. You guys, I'm torn on these because they're Jeffrey Campbell and they look brand new. Like they're in great condition. Jeffrey Campbell just doesn't sell quickly. But even for, they're going to cost the what? A dollar fifty. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. We'll see. I'll price them low. Hopefully sell them quick. But yeah. All right. If you're watching this video, you made her do it. You don't even know you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Second rotation. All right. I think it's time to get out of here. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> what is going on, guys? Johnny breaking in because we forgot to film when we were at a Goodwill that we went to before we went to the bin. So we picked up a couple things that we want to show you. So Frizz and I are on the same rack and I'm on one side and she is on the other. And she says, what about these high-low Hadis? And I'm like, what? I'm looking them up too. Because we both found them at the same exact time and we each found three. So this is high-low Hadis. 
we don't normally pick up a lot of Hawaiian shirts. And if you do pick up Hawaiian shirts, you want to look for made in Hawaii. That's kind of what people look for. We do hate that these are smalls, but sell-through rates were pretty strong on these for like 16 to 20 bucks. So not great margins, but if it's going to sell quick, we'll do it. But we found not one, not two, not three or four. Could it be five? How about six? So pretty excited to find six of anything, but these were some pretty awesome patterns. So we definitely snagged these. If you ask Frizz, she'll tell you this is a good brand apparently, but Lunya, Lunya, this blue top Frizz snack. We don't do a ton with Disney stuff. It's not necessarily our thing. But some Disney shirts can do really, really well. I picked one up the other day that was new with tags. That should go for like 30 bucks. But it is on that Walt Disney World tag, and it's 100 Years of Magic. But it's not so much what's on the front as it is what's on the back, apparently. I saw a sold comp, and maybe it was just a money laundering scheme. But a new with tag version of this shirt sold for $175. Now this one is not brand new, although it's in great condition, not expecting $175. And I'm going to do some more comps in case it was like a Beanie Baby thing. But I don't think so. This could be like a $50 shirt, which is pretty cool. Pro tip to check out new racks because look at this thing. Look at the Harley Davidson skull on the made in usa tag so cool like tie-dye version even single stitch got to do some more research on the, the comps on this but even check out this back hit this one i don't know that's just too cool so frizz is currently in her men's clothing era and we have really been focusing on shorts lately because they're selling pretty quick for like 20 to 25 bucks. So if it's got a great sell through rate, we're just snagging them. So we picked up these Frizz found Olivers. And then if you saw our last video, Outer Known was a sweater that Frizz picked up. So now she's got these shorts. Roan, definitely a men's brand to keep an eye out for. And then these ones too. Billy, do you have anything that you want to say? Actually, I do. Be sure to follow my mom and dad so I can get more treats. We hope that you enjoyed this trip to the bins. If you did, comment below and let us know. Here are some other videos you may not have checked out yet, and we'll see you again soon.